Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I wanted to share how quickly and easily you can texture an object using the Toon Studio Pack. So let's recreate this awesome hand animation. And by the way, all of this was made by my friend Theodore Daly, and I'm gonna put a link to his social media below, so make sure to check him out. All right, so if we look at this scene setup, essentially there is a hand that animates and then a little rig. So it's time to light and shade this setup. So we're gonna turn on Redshift, and you can see that this is what the scene looks like with no materials. So let's set up the materials. All right, we're gonna to go to our database and we'll go to the Toon Studio folder. I'm gonna pick comic and use this graphic novel one sketch. Now I'm just gonna turn off the clay rendering and now we can see what the shader looks like and how it works. So we're gonna go through some of the graphic novel settings because I wanna change a few of the lines to get different sizes, but this is applied to everything. So you can see here, all I'm gonna do is change it to triplanar, and this is already set up for you, so it's really easy to change. You just have to attach it. Then go to the scene object scale, and I'm just changing that scale to bring it down so it's a bit tighter. But you can see that the ring, it sort of broke that setting. So all I'm gonna do now is duplicate this same shader and I'm going to rename it now and we're gonna apply this to the scanner section. Now all you have to do is turn off that triplanar that we just added and we'll change the scale. And just like that, I have one that is set up with triplanar because the UVs weren't set up properly. And then the other one does have proper UVs. So just like that, we've set that all up. Next, we're gonna work on the background. So all I'm gonna do is take a wireframe node and change the thickness of it. Next, what I'm gonna do is change some of the color. So I'm going to change this white to a red and same with the lines. And I'm gonna pipe that into just a regular shader. So it's nothing too fancy. And you can see here, if I turn the lights down, the exposure is really low, it gets really dark. So I'm gonna play with it to get a bit more contrast so it feels a bit more like a comic book. And you can see that that's about all it took to create this intricate, detailed, illustrative hand using one of the Tune Shader setups. So super easy to use, drag and drop and just changing some of the scales and you have a pretty epic render like this. All right, feel free to grab this full pack of 100 professional Tune Shaders now. I'm gonna put a link below. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for checking out the Pixlab. Cheers.